Yo, what's up, dudes? How is it going? Today we're playing a little bit more of M&I mode. That is because we actually had some updates regarding mods. The most notable being that you no longer need a 64-bit client to play them. So I really felt like, you know, telling you about that. I already did in a non-mod video, but I felt like I should also do that in a mod video, really. And, you know, what mod would be better suited for it than M&I mode, which is our, our mod. You know, like it's it's all mod. Also, we got a bit of a Christmas theme going on, which I think is cool. I don't know. Look at that. Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Oh, man. We're hoping to replace the dragon with Shrek eventually. Eventually. Not, not right now, but eventually. <laughs> anyway, uh, this was all, all random, by the way. So that's why I'm playing Ricky. Usually not the biggest fan of Ricky, but, you know, we agreed on randoming. So I random, then uh, this is who I got. And... Oh, that's who I'm gonna play. God, you're quick. Stop it. First blood. Oh, now he steals my first blood. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. But, <laughs> what's going on with that Magnus? So, uh, mods, again, they got a bit of an update. Uh, they still bug their shit, as you can tell from the Magnus. Like, that's something that's not related to the mod. Like, not to M&I mode. But that's just... A problem with mods in general. And, you know, those are gonna be... Gonna be all over the place, but that's fine. Anyway. Anyway, uh, I wanted to actually give you a bit of an update on this game mode too, like what we have got in mind, what we plan on doing with it. So right now, uh, development is on a bit of a hiatus because of, um, you know, Christmas. You know, like, that's it. That's the reason. There's, there's no other reason. But I think it's a good reason, right? Uh, Neither I, actually, you know, I would be up for doing some more. But, you know, mostly Chris needs to do the modding. And I only, like, look, I only do useless shit. Which is, you know, giving criticism and kind of helping with balance and stuff like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, Chris is not around right now. He's, he's taking a bit of a break from everything. And that's fine, right? We're not gonna take the holidays away from him and, you know, chain him up in some basement and force him to mod them and I mode. No. Though, I think that... You know, maybe eventually. Not right now, though. Not right now. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, yeah, so that's why development is not going on right now. But we're gonna get back to it. And I actually uh, did some shenanigans uh, regarding what's uh, the next big feature. And uh, I thought I could tell you about it and then you just tell us what you think of it, right? We're, we're probably gonna implement it no matter what. Right? So why, uh, while we do value your feedback, we're probably just gonna add it into the game anyway and see how it goes because we think it's a neat idea. But uh, I would still appreciate some feedback. Maybe, maybe instead of uh, trying to criticize the whole idea, right? Just think about improvements you could make to the idea, if that makes any sense. Because we, we like the idea a lot. <laughs> so uh, let me actually go ahead and just get to it. We plan on adding item boxes into the game. So currently how the shop works is it's just straight up items. right? You just buy items. Oh, that was a terrible place to smoke. But you just straight up buy items. So I can go in there and buy myself a magic wand. And boom, I got a magic wand, right? And I build up my inventory that way. We plan on removing that entirely. And instead... We're gonna have um, item boxes on the map. Now, they're gonna be five different kinds of item boxes. Those are gonna be divided up into tiers. Now, these tiers... Uh, is Actually, I did the math on all of those. And, um, you know, I kind of categorized them into four different tiers that are like, about the same in power, right? That are not, not like each tier is the same in power, but like every item in tier one is about the same in power, every item in tier two, right? That kind of thing. And... I did that, and then I, <laughs> then I also did a boots tier, and I also added a, I think which we was which is what we're also gonna do is a completely random tier, right? Which is entirely random. You can't get anything, but that's gonna be the only way of getting items in the new game mode. Uh, well, as soon as we add it in. Now, what's the upside to that from from our current? Couldn't just good old let's buy items thing. Uh, honestly, you can optimize M and I mode right now, right? Like there's an optimal item build for every hero, and I feel like that takes a little bit of the fun away. Uh, I honestly want this to be kind of like Smash Brothers or Mario Kart, and not the competitive side of Smash Brothers, by the way, the silly side of Smash Brothers. 
where you just hang out with a bunch of buddies and nobody wants to really take it seriously except for that one guy that's super competitive about everything. I, I am that one guy, by the way. <laughs> but, um, you know, yes. where you just want to hang out. And I feel like with the item boxes, you're gonna end up getting some silly items. And th that's that's fun, right? That sounds fun to me. For example, if I'm if I'm playing with Kimaro right here and I buy the tier 1 item box or I buy the boot item box and I end up getting Ules, which Ules is actually in the boot section. Don't question me. I got this figured out. <laughs> but you get get oils and you're just like, well, shit. <laughs> so do I get more boots? Right? Do I try with another one of those boot boxes? Or do I go for a tier 1 item box? Right? A tier 1 item box could have more kinds of shenanigans in it. I could, I could get drums. I could get Orb of Venom. I could get a medallion. I just go for that. And then you end up actually getting something weird. You end up getting something that you have never really tried or even considered on Wikimaru. And, you know, now... We got an interesting situation. What if you get Critical Strike on the Skyrim Mage, right? That could happen. Oh, well, I guess we're right-clicking now. <laughs> I guess my game plan just changed. And, um, of course, you kind of got a bit of control over the item boxes because I actually divided them up to be uh, so that there's a big difference, like, in the amount of items in each box. So, Tier 1 has very few items. I think it's only 12. Or ten or something like that. Wait, actually, I got it open right here. Let me open. Uh, let me let me tell you. So tier one got ten different items. Tier tier two got twenty two. Tier three got sixteen, and tier four got twelve. So if you only go for tier one items, they're gonna be weaker. But you kind of got a feel for what you're gonna get, right? And you kind of know, okay, so this is gonna be that, and you you got an idea. Tier two, which is a huge range of items. Um, I think the cheapest. Like, it ranges really from, from everything, actually. Like, we got Sange, uh, Sange in there, Yasha in there separately, though not, not at the same time. Uh, Sange and Yasha, there's, um, oh yeah, what is it called? Uh, drums, for example, or, or, I believe, I believe Rod of Atos is in there as the most expensive item. You could get a Mecha. There's all kinds of stuff in there, right? There's a huge variety of possibilities. And um, if you pick up one of those, you're just like, oh, well, let's go and see what we get. And, and then you're really just kind of stuck in, you know, what you got. And then you got to somehow make that work. And I think that's like a really interesting idea. Like the concept of, well, okay, so this might not be, might not be great, but let's just see how we can make this work, right? Now, um, of course, like the more expensive boxes, like tier 5 is mostly right-click items. Right-click items and very defensive items. So if you're looking to, um, you know, do that, then you could always just save up a lot and then go for one of those boxes. Now, how do I get boxes? Uh, we plan on spawning them randomly on the map. Now, at the same time, it's going to be announced. We're probably going to make the map just a bit larger. And uh, it's going to be announced when a box spawns. And then you can, uh, of course, like there's hopefully you're gonna be like a huge movement from both sides to go secure that item box, right? Everybody's gonna be like, oh no, we want this one. <laughs> Let's go for it. And oh, if you could just die already, that would be fantastic. There we go. But hopefully both teams are then gonna be like, oh yeah, no, we want that. And then they start diving and go crazy over that little item that's gonna spawn there. And at the same time, also, um, you're gonna be able to buy them, right? You can just choose to buy an item box. And uh, it can be anything. It can be a boot box, it can be a tier, tier 1 to tier 4 box. And actually, I, I mentioned previously, I also plan on adding in a little bit of something that's a, a random, random box, right? That is truly random. You can get any item in the game. This includes items that require, uh, wait, that, that are not a like finished item, right? In, in all of the item boxes, there's only finished items. For example, there's Diffuser Blade, which is an item that's that's finished, right? Um, or or Satanic, or Butterfly, or something like that. Though those are of course more expensive. Now uh, in the truly random box, I think we're just gonna make everything an option, right? You can get anything, whatever the hell is possible to get, like whatever the hell is in the game is what you can get, and at the same time. Uh, and at the same time, while that's going on, you can also, <laughs> you know, get one of the most expensive items in the game, or you can get one of the worst items in the game, but you're stuck with that item. You have to use it, and that's really the, the you know, the problem with those, which is why I personally wouldn't buy them, but, you know, you can gamble. 
right? So you can get a heart, you can get a scarlet, you can get a butterfly. At the same time, if you get unlucky, or well, you might just get an ironwood branch, and then you're stuck with it because you won't be able to trade it, you won't be able to get rid of it, you won't be able to to sell it. You, you can't do anything. With it. You've got to be using that ironwood branch for the rest of the game, and I think that's a fun idea. Though I, I don't know what you guys think of it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's actually go ahead and uh, start playing a bunch. Because we're actually doing pretty well right here. I mean, Ricky, a bit of an old school Ricky right here, but hey, it's been working. Somehow I'm getting triple kills on all of my kills, but I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I don't know why all of my kills are triple kills, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about that. That seems like a good deal. <laughs> Can we get this guy? Ah, oh, really wanted him. Yo, what's up? Oh, that one wasn't a triple kill anymore. That's very disappointing. I really was looking forward to that. <laughs> I wanted another triple kill. Okay, so we got ourselves a butterfly. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna go for next, honestly. Mm, maybe some more butterfly, if you something. <laughs> I love that Magnus. <laughs> oh, that's just great. Yeah, let's get him. Oh, Ricky. Ricky does deal a lot of damage, doesn't he? I don't know. This hero actually gets going, he, he becomes powerful quickly. Yo, what's up, dude? Ah, come on. I'll just hit him. I'm sure I can out DPS like a freaking... There we go. Though I'm entirely running out of charges for my for my diffuser, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> no! Okay, okay. No. Let's maybe... Maybe get this guy, too. Ah, Ultra Kill, fantastic. Uh, you. I think I'm gonna get a Scarly. Sell the Diffusal. Like, Scarly's probably gonna do the same thing, just better. Because <laughs> right now... Oh, I got a Rampage! That's pretty neat. Right now, uh, the Diffusal just isn't doing a whole lot for me. Also, please don't mind me. No! Mm, okay. So where is the Scotty? There we go. We're actually gonna have to go to the shop to finish that though, because you know there are these these trucky items. Wait! What 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 the hell? No! There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. No, stop it! Mm. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, fuck you. Got him. No, fuck you. <laughs> just, no. Damn, I'm done with it. Oh, they got a gem. No. No, you won't have a gem. You won't. Stop it. There we go. You give that to me. You don't even know what to do with it. You're just gonna hurt yourself. There we go. And you stay here, will ya? Thank you, I appreciate it. And you're next in line. How about you stay here too? Oh my god, this year is kind of silly. <laughs> oh, ultra kill. Boom, baby. You know, I kind of feel like getting some more agility, honestly. Oh, you know what I'm gonna get? Let's make this fun. We got five more kills. You know, if I die and give that to one of their heroes, oh, that's a problem. <laughs> but if that doesn't happen, then that isn't a problem. Oh, thank you. Yeah, trap him. Oh, my God. Okay, just... Come on. <laughs> come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't kill me. No. No. <laughs> Divine and jam. On the ground. And I threw it on the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is actually going to come down to the last kill, isn't it? Okay. No silence. And I got him. Oh! <laughs> that was so close. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> well, we did it though. Very, very close. So Ricky is kind of cool, I guess. Anyway. So, of course, this mod is not done anytime soon. Right? But I just wanted to give you a quick update on ideas we have and all those shenanigans. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did a horrible job at explaining, but 
fuck it. That was a great game. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.